Hey y'all, this is a special Mindful Microdose episode. We got Ooh. my co-host, now Joe Dollywall, and we got Ben Adler. So, Ben's a cool cat. Uh, yeah. Some of you <laughs> might not know about TikTok, but TikTok is everything. TikTok is the now. In all seriousness though, um, we at Peak Mindful and individually, we spent a lot of time with, with uh, TikTok because I'm all about finding ways to share positivity by it. I mean, a lot of you know that. Now, Joe's all about that. And as a Peak Mindful, is all about that. And instead of just trying to sway people on the benefits of positivity, it's like, why not go to an environment where there is already positivity? And I feel that TikTok has that. And so, what better way to understand the Gen Z culture, TikTok's rising, and just overall creativity than someone who has one point gazillion followers <laughs> on TikTok, Ben. So, thanks for joining us, bro. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's the man. I just feel like, yeah, TikTok totally is like a very positive platform. TikTok is just like, there's an educational side of it. There's funny like sides of it. I love that like, there's like so much creativity, right? Like. TikTok blows my mind, like even transitions and like all the things that people do, like beauty bloggers are, are even on there, like killing it. And I really love your content, by the way. It's like super <laughs> creative. And uh, I guess my first question is kind of like, do you have a creative process when you're thinking of videos or is it kind of like you just wake up and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna make this. like, Or do you kind of like write it down or like, how does it work for you? Um, so normally like I'll go and like, scroll through TikTok and for you page for like uh -huh. hours and I'll find like some videos and I'm like, okay, those are cool, so I'll like them. And then I'll go back to them like the day that I want to make them. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be like, okay, I can change it up and make it like better or like fit my style a little bit more. Nice. Yeah. So do you, do you do like kind of like half like what's trending, but then like put your own twist to it? Exactly, yeah. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Do you feel like that's kind of like how you got like a lot more engagement on your page by doing like a little bit of both? Yeah, definitely. If mm -hmm. you, um, I feel like I stand out too because everyone like does like trends, right? Mm -hmm. And so if you make it a little bit different, people are gonna be like, oh, okay, this guy like is a little different, and then you like stand out. Yeah, definitely. And I know there's this like whole other editing side to TikTok that yeah. just makes your videos like ten times better. So yeah. like, was that something that you had to pick up as well, like when you were kind of figuring it out, like um, when you first started? Not really. I don't really edit my videos that much. Like oh, I still cool. do. Yeah, I kind of just film like one take, unless there's mm -hmm. like a video that I have to edit with multiple takes, and I'll just kind of go on iMovie. So I got a name for you. Nice. You're Ben, the one take wonder. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this exactly. guy's like made for TikTok. That's yeah. dope. How long ago did you start your page? Um, so I was on Musically like beforehand. Oh and yeah. And I just kind of like stopped using it, and then I got on TikTok in like August of last year, so it's almost been like two years. Wow. So oh okay. When nice. did you know that like uh, TikTok was working? Was it instant, or were you like posting and doing certain types of content? Um, yeah, it was. It was kind of instant. Okay. Not really. Like I had a friend um, who was doing pretty well on TikTok, and I was kind of helping him out. So watching him grow, and like I was kind of giving him ideas. And so like that was kind of instant for that, but it wasn't really instant for me right away, of course, because like you like start slow and then you kind of build up like momentum, like snowball effect, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. for me, it wasn't that instant. Um, but eventually later on, I feel like a few months ago actually is when I started, I was like, okay, this is like definitely like where it's going to take off. So why do you think nice. TikTok is like taking off? Because I believe it's taking off and I'm, and I'm talking from an outside just reviewing it and, like, and I'm not active as active that I will be, but I've seen it from an outside perspective. Like, what do you think is the element of why is TikTok in particular connecting with Gen Z and in a way that I have never seen in Um, So people like Gen Z have um, attention spans of like four seconds. Maybe. Yeah. So <laughs> you're being positive, right? It's like one second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Like, you have to capture people's attentions like right away. And I feel mm -hmm. like with YouTube, you, you have to like post like a 10 minute video. You don't have to, but most people have yeah. like, 10 minute videos, right? People are like, okay, I don't have 10 minutes, but they can scroll through and watch like a 15 second video. So mm -hmm. I feel like they have more time okay. to just scroll and watch that. But what about the, is there like a culture within TikTok? Because I, like, I want to say this again. I said this in the beginning of the video, but like, I feel like right now with social media, you made that joke about Facebook, it's about politics. I'd say yeah. about Instagram, it's like, oh, I have this view, but it's like, oh, because I'm a paid influencer. It's like, I just feel like everything's like a pay to play on Instagram and Facebook yeah. has become this like political mess, whether it's food, whether it's politics, whether it's your lifestyle. And I feel TikTok is like this freedom of expression, not yeah. patriotic freedom, just like freedom of expression. Do you agree? Yeah. 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 Like you can get famous for posting like a video of of just dogs, you know, like you can't do that on like 
YouTube or like Instagram, right? Yeah. So you, like you can get famous for anything, you know? If you're into Pokemon cards or something, like you can get big for that. It's like, it's everything. Yeah, and the algorithm's so different too. Yeah. Cause like on Instagram, like the algorithm's like kind of messed up right now too. It's like, yeah. you could have like, I don't know, like the engagement's just like not there as much as it used to be. But like with TikTok, I love that like, you can just keep posting. Like it's not like an Instagram where like, you're not really, there's like a certain way you have to post and certain yeah. like time, which like I'm sure TikTok time matters, but like you can literally just bang out like 10 videos in a day and it'll show up on like different for you pages. Yeah. And it's like, that's like the cool, I think the reach that you get with it is like really dope. And other countries are just so into it too. So it's like you're connecting like all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. That's the other good part too, is you, like anyone can get famous for anything. Yeah. Like, if you post on Instagram, right, you post a video, you're not going to get 20 million views out of nowhere, but like no. you post on TikTok, you can get 20 million views and you can reach, you know, like a bunch of different countries. Totally, yeah. And, and like Instagram's more about like photos, I feel like. Like yeah. when I post videos on there, they don't really get as much like yeah. hit. So like yeah. that's really, that's awesome. Yeah. And like, yeah, they know in other countries, like they ban TikTok. My family's from India and India, and, oh my God, I felt so bad. They like banned it out there. Yeah. And, um, you know, people were so sad because TikTok was the one thing during like this worldwide quarantine, you know, that yeah. really like kept people like, you know, fun and engaged and like made us feel like not so alone, if yeah. that makes sense. So I'm really glad they didn't do that here. <laughs> there, was that, there was that rumor, right? So, talking about it, Yeah, not. hopefully not. Yeah, you need your platform. Yeah. <laughs> we, all, we all do, we all do. Yeah. But um, that's, that's dope, yeah. And then um, just kind of like for other creators out there who are like listening, what kind of advice would you give them uh, when it comes to TikTok? Like as far as like creating videos goes and... Um, not even just for like TikTok, but anything, just don't give up. Mm -hmm. Like even if, you know, you're not doing as well as you were before, just keep going because like you'll get there. Mm, yeah. And have fun with it, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's what I've noticed. Like the videos that do the best for me are when I'm having the most fun making them. Yeah. Because like you can tell, like you can really tell the difference. Like okay, like he didn't really enjoy making it that much, but then when you have fun, it really shows. Totally, like puts that vibe in there, and exactly, I feel like yeah. yeah. And then afterwards, you know, you and your friend just like laugh at that video for exactly, hours, yeah. like over and over again. It's like yeah. so funny. Yeah. I love that, and that's another thing that I feel like Gen Z is like really just like honed in on is like the importance of fun and like how like success used to be like measured differently in like the older generation. You know, and like being a millennial, like I kind of saw both sides of that, you know, where it's like, I don't know, like success isn't just about like how much money you have. It's like success is also like when you post a viral video and you made like millions of people laugh. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that that's something that Gen Z is like really realizing, like to have that quality of life where it's like, of course, like, you know, pay your bills and like a little bit more, but then like, how are you impacting other people? And yeah. like laughter is like one of those things, like we need that shit right now more than anything with everything going on. So it's the one thing that connects us no matter like where you're from, no matter what your political beliefs are, no matter like, you know, anything that's going on. So like, yeah, yeah. just really appreciate you, man. And like all the laughter you spread in the world. Yeah. That's what I try to do is like, I just want to make people laugh because that's like, I have the most fun like when I'm with my friends and making them laugh. Like that's what I love to do. Yeah. And so that's what I try and do with this is make other people laugh. Yeah, do you feel like that's what like drives you the most? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Like seeing people, even when I like I'll meet people in person too sometimes and I'll just like have like conversations with them. It's like, I feel like I know them. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like I've known them for years. <laughs> totally. Yeah, absolutely. It's like it's like no matter what, like no matter where they're from, it's exactly. like laughter just like connects us all. So yeah. that's dope. That's a really awesome message for anybody out there, you know, make sure you're spending time having fun. Like we as a society like didn't prioritize that and I think that that's why you know mental health has been such like a issue especially in our country you know what I'm saying so just take time to have fun like prioritize that because it is really really important for your mental well-being and for us to connect with everyone else because it's that one thing like laughter is just super dope I could talk about it forever <laughs> so what, what do you do when you're down like how do you pick yourself up because we all have down days or down moments I'm not gonna lie it's for a few minutes part of our body, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I look up motivational quotes. Okay. I'll scroll through Instagram and like on the explore page, I'll find a quote and I just hours just scrolling through motivational quotes. What's and I'll a like quote say that them. like you were like, you kind of remember if I said, like, I have so many. Um, <laughs> let's see. What's one that I read one recently that like was really inspiring. I have to try and think of it. Um, it was the, the man who does more than he is paid for, paid for will soon be paid for more than he does. 
Wow. I'm really looking at that. I like that. You eventually, if you work for somewhere, you do something really good, and eventually you make enough money or success when you hire other people to help do that same work. Yeah. Right? Yeah, kind of, yeah. So I was thinking, like, I'm doing, like, I put in, I feel like I put in a lot of work mm -hmm. towards my videos. How many hours a day do you do? Well, I spend like an hour or two like trying to find the videos and ideas, mm -hmm. and then making the videos. It can depend on how would like normally ten minutes, you know, like yeah. make, making the video. But like I'll make videos like with all my friends, so we're spending pretty much like the whole day like making videos. Nice. What's the economics on TikTok like? Are you, are you making money through it or? Is it um. TV or so you can go live and make money, but yeah. I don't really like doing that because I feel like it's stealing money from kids. Like it's just not okay. my thing. Like I don't want to do that. So I don't really go live. Um, you can get like brand deals too, uh, but I like only want to do brand deals that I believe in. Like, I'm not just gonna right. go and sell myself out to make like a dollar. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then um, they just added a new thing. Um, they're gonna they're gonna start putting ads. I think for I don't know how it's gonna work, but they're basically gonna pay people to like post. They got a two hundred million dollar. Creator fun, pretty much, but I don't know how that works yet. But they're really something out there too. Nice, nice. So, yeah. yeah, that kind of reminds me of, like YouTube, like ads. Like, yeah, that's how it's gonna kind of yeah. be. But no one knows how it's gonna work, so they're not gonna like no one's gonna scroll through TikTok and like have an ad before we TikTok. So yeah, I, I don't know how it's gonna work, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> we'll figure it out. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I love seeing that. What's your game plan? Like, where do you, where do you see yourself in the next year or two? I have no idea. I, I ask myself that every single day. It's, it always changes. Like I couldn't. I can't tell you. Gotta meditate, bro. Yeah. Meditate on that. Yeah. You gotta Actually, the one one thing that I can say is that you just gotta live in the moment. Yeah. And that all that other stuff is just it's gonna come as long as you have good intentions. You're creating your your fun. You know what I mean. You're making other people laugh. Like you're not selling yourself out. Like yeah. you know, only good's gonna come to you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's dope. You know, it's like really really awesome. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of like another quote too. I don't really know how it goes. Was basically this guy. He said like someone asked him where do you like who's your your hero or something and he said like myself in five years and they're like mm. confused they're like okay well then in five years like who's your hero it's like myself in five years and he keeps saying that because you're like looking towards yourself in five years to kind of like keep you motivated wow, wow. So I don't like that one too well. always growing exactly. yeah exactly. exactly you never have all the answers exactly. it's always just going to be learning and growing and exactly. yeah that's awesome that's what we're all about so Super dope, thank you so yeah. much for sharing that. Do you have yeah. any other questions, Ash? Good. You're good, do you have anything else? That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty solid conversation, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you so much for everyone tuning in. And yeah, just remember to stay mindful out there and have, have a shit ton of fun, you know? Like, don't, don't be so serious. <laughs>